Here you'll find all the steps you need to build your ERAC2 bike rack. Let's start with what's in the box. First, you'll find the subframe, the frame upright, license plate holder, light kit, and an installation kit with instructions, tools, and hardware. Now we need to prepare the subframe for assembly. Check the toe ball clamps are loose by giving the integrated spanner a couple of turns. The bolt will rattle when loose. Unlock the toe ball locking knob. Unwind the toe ball locking knob until the clamps fall from the housing and dangle in place. Attach the subframe to a vehicle to support the rack during assembly. Drop the loose clamps over the toe ball and begin tightening the clamps using the toe ball locking knob. Give the rack a jiggle up and down as you go. Notice how the clamps are drawn up into the housing until only the nipples of the clamps are showing. Tighten the clamps to the ball. You should feel resistance once tight, but without squashing the plastic spacer. Check the rack doesn't turn on the ball. If installed properly, the rack will be solid. If the rack is turning, check that the nipples of the clamps are visible underneath the housing and nothing else. Then check that your toe ball is nice and tight. Then check that you're using a standard 50 mm diameter ball and not a 1 7 8 inch ball or an interchangeable toe ball. If the rack still turns, try tightening the clamping bolt a little more, but do not over tighten it. We recommend locking the toe ball locking knob as a point of habit. Now grab the light kit that came with the rack. Inside the box, you'll find two lights with pre-assembled brackets and some hardware. You'll need the multi-tool provided with the rack installation kit for this step. Take the left light and position it against the threaded hole on the front left arm of the subframe. Take the screws provided in the kit to fix the light to the arm. Place a spring washer and washer onto the screw as shown. Use the multi-tool to tighten the screw until firm. Place the right light onto the right arm and fasten it into place using the screw, spring washer and washer. Tighten with the multi-tool until firm. Undo the webbing straps keeping the arms together. Undo the side of the strap that has the tabbed end. Undo the blue clips at the base of the arms and fold the arms down. To keep the arms in the downwards position, clip the blue clips back up. You'll feel the click when it engages. Take the hardware from the installation kit and thread a single washer on each bolt as shown here. Take the frame upright and position it centrally between the front and rear arms. Thread the first of the four bolts with washers through the frame and subframe. It may take some jiggling of the frame upright to help the bolts locate. Place the second washer and the nylock nut onto the open end of each bolt and hand tighten. Now use the provided multi-tool and wing nut to tighten each of the four bolts. Place the wing nut firmly over the nut and use it as resistance to tighten the bolt with the multi-tool until very firm. Do this for all four bolts. Check the frame is firmly installed on the subframe. There should be no movement between upright and subframe. Now place the provided end caps onto each of the four nuts. When it comes to managing the light's wiring, we recommend storing the wire connecting the two lights under the blue clip behind the license plate holder. Take the wiring for the seven pin plug and fasten it to the subframe using the provided bungs. Use the bungs on either the left side or the right side of the rack, depending on where your vehicle plug is located. Use the provided cables to coil any excess near the plug. The license plate holder can be easily installed by sliding it into position. Make sure the license plate holder sits below the edge of the subframe tilt bracket. 
Now slide your supplementary plate into position behind the license plate holder frame clips. To remove the rack for storage when not in use, undo the blue clips at the base of the arms and fold the arms upright. Make sure you do up those blue clips once the arms are upright. Then you can do up each webbing strap by grabbing the tabbed end and shimmying it over a bung. Unlock the toe ball locking knob. Back off the tension in the clamping bolt using the integrated spanner until the bolt is nice and loose. Unwind the toe ball locking knob until it spins easily and becomes loose. Then use the handle on the subframe to pull the rack free.